Hey guys, today we have a quick Photoshop tutorial here. We're gonna be making this thumbnail right here or kind of like these right here. And this was suggested by someone in one of the comments in one of the other Photoshop tutorial videos. And even if this doesn't get a lot of views, I think you're gonna learn quite a few other techniques in this video. Now, uh, this is the finished product here. It's not great and it's not as perfect as theirs, but of course with some more time and more fine tweaking, you're gonna get a better product or something that's gonna be a little bit better. But here's a full overview of what we're creating. It's gonna be very simple to, after you're creative it, to kind of change the color to anything you like and kind of theme it to your own style or you know change things up at, even after you've created it. So that's really good. Now, uh, the first thing that we're actually gonna do is just of course create a new project that is 1280 by 720p. And you're also gonna go, go to a website and look for a paper texture or a grunge texture. I found this one at this site right here, and this is the one I will be using. But of course you can use any texture that you can find anywhere and it's gonna work just as good, but of course you're gonna get a whole different look. Now you're of course also gonna need a PNG of the person that you wanna use or product or thing that you wanna use. Here we have a recon helmet from Halo which is uh, from the same game as this right here. And we're gonna go ahead and the first thing is just drag the paper texture into this and you can resize it you know, to get that texture whichever way that you want it to look. But I'm gonna go ahead and just insert it the way that you know it is and just resize it so that it fits our composition here. And then pretty much just leave it like that. Then we're gonna drag in the helmet and resize it to whatever size we want. We of course can resize it later on, so it doesn't really matter. And it's gonna be very straightforward. The first thing we wanna create is of course these outlines right here. And then it has a drop shadow right there. And the same thing goes for this one. This one has a little drop shadow right there. And uh, that's the first things we're gonna create. So here we click on the layer for the helmet. We're gonna click stroke. And you can see here, we can increase the size and change that and a few other settings, but we're gonna leave it like that for this particular helmet. And we're gonna actually right click on this layer again, and we're going to convert it to a smart object. So we can then click on it again and create another stroke. And this time we're gonna do a white stroke and it's gonna be a little bit bigger than the black one we created before. And of course, you know, you can change that based on your preference. And that's pretty much it for the helmet aside from the drop shadow that we have to add here. And we just click on this and we can just change the distance and then we change the angle to wherever we want. We're gonna leave it right about here. And we can of course change the size, the opacity, all that good stuff, but we're gonna leave it right about there for now. Now we wanna create those little details that are on the sides, three on this side, three on that side. And that's pretty much all up to you however you'd like. Now if you want that same paper texture on that, you can actually drag in the paper texture again, resize it, and uh, you know just kind of play around with it a little bit to get that, that uh, kind of look that you want. So we're gonna actually here, just take it right here. I'm gonna take this polygonal lasso tool, and I'm gonna cut out a shape here, kind of like what he has this time, and you know kind of make that here. Let's see if we can do it like this. And that seems about right. It's a little bit off, but it'll work just fine. So let's go ahead and actually move this up a little bit. And then we're gonna do command copy and then command paste so that we got this right here. We can delete the previous texture that we brought in. And now we have the texture right there. And you can kind of see it right here. Now, what we wanna do next is add color to the background texture. So before we continue, we're gonna do that first. Now you want to go ahead and create a new layer and this layer you're actually gonna fill with color. So you can actually fill it in just white, but let's just go ahead and choose a uh, random color here, purple so we can see it really good. And we're just gonna fill it up and make sure it's all filled up and you have no spaces left. So uh, that way you don't got any issues. We can turn off the uh, helmet here so we can see better and turn this off too. So there, that's good, it's all filled up. And now what you wanna do is go to the same layer and you're going to change the style here from normal to darken. You can do any style that you want and play around with it, but I found that darken works at least kind of the best for this particular situation. Now we just change the opacity on this layer to the point where you like it. And I would say right about there, that's a good point. And of course we can always go back to this layer right here and change the colors if we'd like and do the same process again. 
if you wanted to you can just go ahead and change it like that and let's choose a different color that that looks fine right there and there you go so it's very easy to change and that's really good and we're gonna do the exact same thing for these little flags here so let's change the size rotate it a little bit place this one here we're gonna do right click on the layer duplicate the layer click enter and then drag it down flip it like this and then duplicate again and uh, bring a third one down and then kind of fix up the and shift them around a little bit till you get it all right how you want it to I'm gonna go ahead and select them all and I'm actually gonna shrink them just a little bit there we go all right so that's good for now now you select them all and then you're gonna go ahead and do convert to smart object you're gonna go ahead and duplicate that layer we're gonna move it to the other side and we're gonna hit command T and then we're gonna flip it horizontally to get that same thing on the other side again and you have those flipped which is looking really good now we're gonna go ahead and select both layers again we're gonna convert them both to a smart object so we can edit everything at the same time and we're gonna go ahead and choose a color here change the opacity on this so you can still see the texture however you like and then we can go ahead and change the color to anything you want that you kind of think goes with the whole theme and style of the video so that's looking fine there of course the shapes aren't perfect or anything but you can of course take your time on all that save it and then change all the colors later you can still see the layers here and you can switch this up that way you know what is what so we can name this color and uh, this the background and if anything you know you can switch out the background and change it for something else so if let's say this was our background we go ahead and increase this so if this was like another texture or something then we'd also be getting that instead of the original background and that would still work so if you want to switch up textures from time to time then you can do so and you won't lose any of the other things that you've done and you'll still get the same colors etc etc now of course one thing more that we had to do was add the other drop shadows on these and you pretty much are good to go and you can of course edit those if you like and change things around but I think that looks fine but yeah guys there we go that is how to make those kind of paper grungy thumbnails that uh, you can see in his video and of course you can you know use these techniques use them for different types of thumbnails and kind of get an idea and uh, kind of create your own ideas but uh, really good and uh, I think they came out a little bit better than I was expecting. You know, of course, you can change all that up and uh, change all the colors that you want and uh, make everything look different if you wanted to. But that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Make sure to subscribe and uh, feel free to suggest any other tutorials. I'll make sure to upload them here from time to time when I uh, have some extra time. But yeah, thanks for watching.